This Sun Gazette video coverage is proudly sponsored by Woodlands Bank. At 152 pounds for Hughesville, either Wyatt Gavin or Reese Moon. Well, Brendan, you guys on another win. Yeah, thank um, you. You know, the other week when we last spoke, when uh, you guys had Southern Columbia, um, it came right down to the wire. Did that sort of fuel you heading into districts, knowing that, you know, it might not be in the bracket, but you know that you're going to face some loaded teams like Benton and Montgomery and some of that? Yeah, yeah. It, I mean, we wrestled Benton right before that, like, like that weekend, and then we came back and wrestled Southern. I feel like coming off that tough weekend, like, we were just battered and bruised. So, like, I feel like once Saturday comes, our team's just going to be totally different. And, like, right now we're just trying to get mentally prepared, you know, like, hand fight, be a little bit more physical. So I think we're definitely going to be prepared for, like, those loaded teams like that. Obviously a big turnout against Hughesville tonight. Do you think, you know, facing that steeper competition like Benton and uh, Southern Columbia to sort of cap off the regular season helped you sort of come yeah, in? Yeah, it's, de it's definitely to get, like, a nice you know, closeout win at your uh, hometown. So, like, yeah, it definitely it makes you feel good that you can come in here and wrestle the first round of Teen Districts and just end it with, like, an ex exclamation point. So, like, for us to start Teen Districts, I feel like we're just going to keep on rolling, especially since we wrestle most likely Canton. And we just came off a win from that. We're, we're definitely in the right direction. And, uh, you know, four or five pins tonight. What stands out with me, they were all first period falls. What did you see sort of up and down the lineup coming in tonight? You know, it's not really like we try and look at it that the other schools are trying to wrestle, like, wrestle us. Like, we know that our lightweights are pretty tough, and, like, we have Isaac up top. So, like, we know that, like, those pins, they'll, they'll come around. I mean, they might have been a little bit later in the first period, but, like, you just. You just gotta be patient. My uh, coach says that the points will come, the points will come. And being able to get that cradle and like a pin or something like that, it's just, you just gotta be patient. So it's definitely, it's nice to have those in your back pocket. And uh, going off of uh, Canton, you know, looking at the way the bracket is, um, there's a very good chance you could be seeing them again in the next round at Milton. So how do you sort of keep that trajectory going into Saturday? Oh, honestly, uh, it, it makes us feel good to know and that we beat them up pretty good. And they're going to have that thought in the back of their head, oh, crap, like we lost to them. So, like, I just think after beating them, like, it was more of an intimidating thing rather than, like, it meaning anything. Like, it meant for us to go on there and just make them, like, try and make it as miserable as we can so whenever they come Saturday first match they just don't want to wrestle us. Awesome. Congrats on the win and good luck on Milton. Yep, thank you.